everybody, welcome back to another episode of Last Down or Survival Today. We return, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, guys, that's your favorite fantastic day of the most amazing variety. Today, we are back, and as your eye holes are hopefully witnessing, we have yet another revenge raid on our hands. But what your eye holes haven't yet witnessed is the sadness that I witnessed when I logged in, because apparently these raiders knew exactly where to break into, and they stole, yet again, a lot of guns from those three things. So they, they literally, they... They, 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 they broke nothing else. Oh, they actually may have broken my... They vandalized my witch's head too. I am outraged. I didn't even realize that until today. So we're going to be getting some sweet revenge and hopefully getting our loot back. Along with announcing the winner of this past week's $25 Atsu slash Play Store gift card giveaway a little bit later today. As well, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, all that you got to do is go ahead and leave a comment down below. Leave a like on the video and make sure you subscribe. That's going to enter you in on today's video. Y'all go ahead and enter on every single last year of video when Santa rolls around. We'll pick a random video from the past week. Pick a random comment for a random video. And that will be the winner for the week. And we'll kick off the weekend giveaway that exact same Saturday as well. So make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up up to date with all the videos, all your opportunities to enter on it since you can enter in on every single one, not to mention the latest of Last Down Earth information, some of which I have some very interesting information I cannot wait to share with you guys today. I really think, I can't wait to get you guys' thoughts on this stuff either. This is real interesting stuff I got, but not only that, of course, the latest of gameplays from the updates that the game does bring, the nuttiest of raids that we hopefully go on, not to mention other dope survival games as well. So all in all, it's a pretty good investment, not to mention the fact we're not one of those past weeks today and that means we'll start our new giveaway today as well so y'all can go ahead and try out the next week of videos and saturday will be announced the winner of this week's giveaway so a best of luck to everyone in that but here we are at the farm and the farm actually has a lot to do with what i wanted to talk about specifically what i want to go ahead and talk about actually has to do with a lot of things that the farm has not just the fact that the farm is what it is but also the new weapon that the farm update brought so what is it that i do want to talk about well it's a little thing known as horsey so let me let me just go ahead and burn through a couple of these dudes with bullet holes and let's get to talking because specifically I also want to roam around the farm a little bit because there is some oh okay well that gun's already broken that was quick uh there's some very valuable stuff that you can kind of get taken not taken away but there's a lot of valuable things that you can actually take away from the farm as well if you are exploring it that has to do with what I'm talking about so I'm gonna be talking about the horse the horse star what incarnation a horse in last day on earth yes 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 a horse check it out in case you guys didn't get the memo there's actually a horse uh, that is supposedly going to be coming to the game at some point in time. There are some items foreshadowing to its presence, mainly two specific items, at least until this update. I'm going to be saying exactly why. We've always had the horse feeder and we've had the horse saddle in game for quite a while, right? But they've never actually done anything, right? But check it out here. All right, With the farm, a perfect home for the horse, I may add, has also added in a variety of items that actually might very well be alluding to the addition of a horse home hopefully in some way shape or form with the farm because what we are seeing over there is one of a horse's favorite foods hay hay and grass are some of a horse's favorite foods among other like grainy oaty type of food and whatnot and do you know where that kind of stuff can be found a farm oh me oh my well what else about it check it out a lot of the harvesting to create such things is done with the scythe the new weapon that was added in this update as well one that you do have a chance of getting at the end of the farm currently there's just a very powerful weapon does 60 damage with 0.7 speed so nothing too insane but once you kind of take all this context stuff into account it's very interesting that they chose the scythe to be added in as a weapon because the, the there hasn't been a new melee weapon added in in quite a while until the scythe has made its appearance here so why would they choose to do this now why why, why choose the farm to add in a new melee weapon? Like, I mean, the scythe does fit the farm theme very well. It's a perfect time to add in that in as well. But I think that there's a double-edged sword to it. I think that the scythe is going to be one of the new harvesting tools that might in some way, shape, or form be used to feed the horse. Because, I mean, after all, feeding the horse is going to be something important if and when it does get added in. Because there's the horse feeder. It's suitable for feeding riding animals. Well, how are we going to get the food? The acquisition of the food's going to be a relatively big deal. And the farm seems like a prime position for that to be happening especially if the scythe is used as a tool as it was originally intended to be used to collect the stuff like that to collect food for the horse it could be a perfect situation where it's a double whammy not just a dope melee weapon but also something that can be utilized to go ahead and get the food for the horse and here's another reason that this really caught my eye and i really wanted to talk about this theory because do you guys know the game westland survival right so in westland survival there is no chopper there's another mobile survival game that i'm actually doing a series on 
fun. You guys should definitely check out if you haven't yet. It's actually really dope. It does have a ton of dope guns and stuff, but that's besides the point, right? The point is, in that game, there is no chopper. There is only a horse that you are able to tame at your base. And you know what else is very interesting? Last day on Earth and some of the other mobile survival games have had a very interesting history of sometimes, like, you'll see a feature in Last Day on Earth and it ends up getting, like, implemented further in one of those random mobile survival games, or even, like, you see a feature kind of, like, being shown off in a mobile survival game, and then it happens to appear in Last Day on Earth. So the fact that Westland's survival recently came out, and not only that, but it is also appearing that the main method of transportation in that game is going to be the horse, that could kind of be, like, a testing ground or kind of, like, checking out that feature, and that kind of corresponds especially with some of the stuff that we've seen in the past that might very well be foreshadowing to a horse coming because i mean i know all this evidence kind of alone doesn't mean a lot but once you take everything into account the farm the scythe the type of foods that the horse eats the fact that a scythe is perfect for harvesting those types of foods the horse in westland survival there are a lot of things that could very well be pointing to this addition of a horse coming soon and loki i am very very excited for it because that would be so dope to have a force i'm gonna force have a horse in the game they're gonna actually utilize and run around with and have some fun with that's just something I want to go in and share with y'all. I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts on any of this. Maybe any contributions you might have. Any of that type of jazz in that comment section down below. Even your guys' own thoughts on my thoughts. Any of that type of stuff. And that is a perfect comment for y'all to go in and utilize for that entry into this week's 25 dollars to slash play store a gift card giveaway. So I'd seriously, dude, I want to hear what you guys got to say because I've honestly been thinking about this a lot. I'm thinking about the best way of wording it. Hopefully, I worded it in a good way. But I, there's a lot of things, man. There's a lot of things that just kind of went taken into account together at least in my eyes make me believe that the horse is something that might be uh lurking in the shadows you know and hopefully it's something that we're gonna be riding off into the sunset with in the last day on earth and of course uh westland too i am definitely trying to get the horse in westland because i think you can actually ride it around or something like that something dope like that who knows but okie dokie i know talking about that like i said can't wait to hear what y'all gotta say about it in the meantime here's what we got on our smorgasbord it's gotta do with guns and zombies that's right we got to bring some of these lads and lassies down and check it out baby oh there's a raider yo we got a raider pen 1v1 be raider bro what's she gonna do what's she gonna do when papa star come for you nothing spoiler alert sorry sorry to hit y'all with a spoiler like that thank you for this low key might actually take some armor because i do plan on attacking the ravager and melee attacking the ravager is one of the best ways of actually handling it so i don't want to be putting up my own armor up to risk since uh, the ravager his spit is literally the most toxic thing imaginable to armor it will just absolutely do the doo-doo on any sort of armored thing upon you dude it takes out like i think a third of it if it does manage to spit on you so definitely be cautious of that when you are fighting we actually had a whole video dedicated to that a little bit earlier in the week but all right is this another is that the bull or is that hold on i'm gonna do a little bit of a crouch i think that is the bull because the bull is on patrol exactly like that it hasn't aggroed us yet and yes look at look at that thick boy over there that's that's got yep that is the bull 110 percent so yeah it turns out i believe it was aggroing us so kind of another thing to keep into account we went to the farm a couple of days ago actually and these bulls were aggroing us they were coming on to us from very far away the reason for that i think we found out is because the bulls actually take your smell into account because i mean some enemies just totally forget the fact that you smell and stuff but they do not this yokel definitely saw me so the only thing he's gonna be seeing is a couple of bullets in them beloved eye holes of his can i get some more raiders by the way like don't don't like definitely don't get me wrong i don't mind shooting yokels up the wazoo all right it's definitely a pretty fun fat past time not fast the time it's not time to fast all right it's time to get the hell out of dodge very quick and very fastly but so we do have this savage giant we got to deal with here just a gif so let's put that pistol out of work to make that magic happen and then go and see what type of chest awaits us over there and yo where you going giant where you going all right well the giant doesn't want yeah be scared boy be scared to be savage giant okay well apparently i'm very spooky uh but all right we want to continue going down through here we want to be very careful around the hay bales because zombies can get spawned out of those. I would like zombies not being all up in my grill, yo. But I would like to get me a little bit of this and hope that it does contain per snaps more glue, baby. Dude, 
the farm is like glue paradise. And isn't glue like a product of horse or something? Boom! Conspiracy! Illuminati confirmed, man. I think the fact that glue exists pretty much confirms the horse. Nah, the glue, that that's just, that that is definitely a coincidence. But the other stuff I'm talking about, I really do think has a lot of stuff correlating that seriously, I dude, when you connect the dots, man, there's definitely some pretty valid and semi-convincing reasons saying that, that the horse, dude, I seriously think this is the perfect culmination of stuff for it. But all right, enough talky-talky about that let's get to some shooty shooty on the savage giants thinking you can chase me down and no 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 and not today i'm gonna slice and dice you to death too all right because i love slicing your faces off now now you guys you guys you guys are cool your guys' faces are safe no worries oh what is this are these raiders oh my god these people are on they're on to us oh one's they multiple have guns one has a zip gun though sorry right, let's start taking out the one of them i mean how much damage can that possibly do i ain't too worried about mr zip gun over there on the left but so okie dokie raiders i see y'all i see y'all trying to attack me like that and guess what I don't take people like that too kindly. I will kindly take your loot, though, if you're offering it off your dead bodies. Well, not really offering. It's just being taken. Apologies about that. But you're dead. You were shooting at me. I don't need to. I ain't need to apologize to you if you're shooting at me first. But I will. I'm very sorry, sorry Raiders. I'm trying to be fan for fantastic. You know, even, even if you have wronged me in the past, I hope that in the future we can be friends. Although, I, you're literally a dead body at this point. So, uh... I, I, you want a selfie? Like, I can post it to your Twitter if, like, you got your password somewhere on there. I don't know, man. These Raiders probably don't even have Twitter. But if you guys do, you should definitely follow me. At Starsnipe1. Shameless plug. Yeah, that's right. Because at Starsnipe was taken. Don't get me started on that stuff, man. Ugh. Gives me the EBGBs. The fact that someone dare taketh my name like that. Nah, it's all cool, dude. I like the number one. It's a cool number. Definitely not at all heated about that. But uh, speaking of which, guess what? On Instagram, I actually got a totally normal thing. At Starsnipe. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. We're the OG at Starsnipe over on Instagram. So if y'all just look up Starsnipe on Instagram, you can totally go ahead and follow me there. I try to post dope photos and only the dopest, so I ain't spamming you or anything like that. But all right, let's get to shooting some of these dudes upside the face. I know I don't gotta be utilizing the pistol to do this, but I do want to do it because I know that that Savage Giant is gonna be appearing very shortly, and we got a couple of these guys, so uh, we, we definitely can deal. I like dealing, actually, with the smaller dudes with melee weapons, but it just so happens that these savage giants are hot on our tail. And I wonder, what was that weird thing that happened when we crossed the bridge? Can we get a repeat of that? Like a little part two, I think. Crossing the bridge, like, I, I okay, not anymore. Uh, hello, savage giant? Okay, well, he's not interested. He's, he's, he's still coming at me. So uh, I, I don't know what the savage giant's up to, dude. He just started randomly, one of those, maybe, maybe just that one random one realized what he was truly up against and the fact that there was no no positive outcome for him you know maybe that was the smart savage giant he was trying to run away unfortunately the unsmart part about him was he didn't realize he can't outrun me i am uh, definitely faster than he is sorry savage giant but uh on the other hand this blue chest also cannot outrun me but i can uh, assist it in some running oh dear god bull bull watch out for the bull i can assist it in some waddling and i can waddle it on over to the saw at the end and then oh check it out check it out you guys are gonna be so proud to be so freaking proud i brought the hatchet baby that's right we came prepared today uh but you know why don't we start i'm actually probably gonna be taking down the ravager kind of sooner so why don't we whip the katana out because it does appear okay get out of your trees uh it does appear that one full katana is enough to take down the ravager so as long as we can take out these little dudettes over here uh, we got the Savage Giant. I'm honestly just gonna try to use the rest of my two pistols on him. Uh, the Ravager's probably on patrol on the farm. He's gonna be coming back down through there where I'm pointing at on the mini-map with my mouse. Dude, that's what I love about playing on an emulator too. At least in terms of recording. Whenever I was recording on phone back in the day, ooh, I should be using a melee weapon on you, buddy old boy. You get a little bit of sledgehammer. Better face, better face. Hold on, let's go one more. Swing, better, 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 swing. That's like, that's like a home run in terms of like sledgehammer hits, dude. They usually don't get it too hard, but check it, check it. Let's do that and let's go ahead and equip ourselves some of this new stuff but yeah that's the one thing i really love about emulator it is so easy for me to point at stuff man before it's pretty hard to point when there's not like a mouse or something when you're playing on phone you know what i mean but all right ravages slicey and dicey to you because check it out once you're using katana oh no i thought the bull aggroed us for a sec if you're using katana the ravager is not capable of taking you down and once you guys see once he is actually dead here at the end of this like look at this he can't even melee hit us he's not even trying to toxic spit us all you gotta do is stutter step slightly away and the ravager will be extremely extremely dead because the con because the katana has a very good reach on its swing as you guys are hopefully witnessing right here right now because this ravager has a zero 
absolutely zero hope of catching up to us but check it out he's already over halfway dead and our katana is not even halfway gone making katanas like literally if you're going to the farm just bring a katana this is why katanas are amazing right here you bring one katana oh god dang it he got a hit off on me you bring one katana you will be very happy and then you can just use the rest of it on like some random other mobs or stuff you could use it on some of the yokels you know some of the yokel guys oh dang it sometimes he'll reach you and hit but here's the thing as long as he isn't doing his toxic spin thing which he usually tries to do whenever you run away from him so like if i run away a little bit too far that's when he decides to enter sprint mode and that's when we got to go and get the jukes out and i mean this strategy still works the katana is still amazing you can even get a couple slices in oh dude you can get like three slices if you time it right yeah like one two three ah oh, and get juke to see you later ravager your face, man. I wish I could collect it. It seems like such a great collectible. I'd love to hang your head up on my wall. As psychopathic as that might sound. I mean, we've we've hung up the blind one's head. We have the witch's head on a stick. Although apparently the raiders did not like the fact we had the witch's head on a stick and decided to take away my witch's head on a stick. But I can repair my witch's head on a stick, so no worries, lads. But uh, what I am worried about is bringing this puppy over to the end. I'm actually not worried at all. I'm just simply worried about that being a task that I need to remember to do. I'm more worried about remembering to do it. JK, I've been very consistent in bringing this to the end. Today's just been an all in all, a great type of day. I got the hash in my inventory. I got a solid amount of weaponry. Uh, and, and besides the whole part where we got raided and the Raiders did a stupidly good job, dude. Like I've never seen the Raiders break through that and just get to those three chests. Like the Raiders have gotten to those three chests a consistent amount. I cannot deny that, but I've never seen them get there so efficiently, like literally. And then they broke my witch's head for fun on top of it. Like God, have a little bit of respect on the bases you raid. Oh my God, I love slicing people's heads off no one no one released this the, the, no one take this out of context either irl dude i love not slicing people's heads off heads were not meant to be sliced unless you're a zombie in which case uh, i i'm also happy to slice off your arm but this katana is about to be breaking we got the guns that we're going oh we should probably you know i'm just gonna keep using this armor until it breaks and then we got that next set that we can put on and worst case i mean we just saved this for the raid because we're definitely uh i don't know with the amount of stuff that the raiders stole i'm not kidding when i'm saying that like they literally stole multiple ak's from us amongst other things so there's a chance that stuff's gonna be in a pretty solid base meaning it might be a strudel a little bit struggle for us to get it back and uh yeah they could go poorly could definitely go poorly <gasps> puppy we got a puppy in the house dude as to get it i think i even saw a question one time where someone was saying after you pick up a puppy why don't you just use the puppy and put it uh in your box or whatever in your puppy bin uh you have to use your puppy at home i just wanted to clarify that very quickly so all right we're about to go ahead and start dealing with his johnny a yokel and a savage giant on the other side of this that'll break one thing i can machete you to death from there and then we got the savage giant which i can just go ahead and use the rest of this pistola on and uh we're not gonna have a lot eh, we still got the kaleshnikov so we're still looking pretty good and we got all the loot that these things can contain which does include things like dog food and stuff but uh honestly if we do start getting a lot of good loot i will probably start dropping a couple things here or there like mainly i mean not the scythe i definitely want to bring this out and low key given the fact that this could very well be the key to horses i do have a couple more at home i hope i get another one here during this farm run but i didn't want to utilize a little bit and showcase it as well i think it fits the theme pretty nicely so we'll be doing that i'm thinking for the end where the going really gets crazy uh we do we still have one more pen we got to break into here at the farm we got one more med which is perfect because we've been blowing through those and oh a little bit of a burp there but we're gonna save that until absolutely necessary especially because dude like i'm saying there's solid reason to believe that it might be used as a harvesting tool in the future especially because like even the shovel meh that's kind of all right but like even the shovel was used as a harvesting tool in the past for the halloween event so it's not like necessarily you need a pickaxe or you need an axe to use something you know like shovels have been used before so i don't think there's anything stopping the scythe from being used in a similar fashion you know but like i'm saying chime in chime in in that comment section and uh, chime in with a little bit of hydration via the beans ain't nothing more reliable and hydrating me than me and my beans but with all that stuff collected it is time for not those guys we still got to take out this area over here and then we got to haul the box over but i can do that no worries uh, oh let's make sure that he does not start hating our guts too early let us get over here that's a savage giant god dang it gotta deal with more i don't like dealing with these guys i could one of you want them honestly come at me savage giant broski let's uh yeah come over here 
Oh, he's the only one following me. Yeah, boy. That's what I like. This is going to be a nice and simple 1v1. Oh, my God. He does so much damage. Maybe not nice and simple, but I, I, I will hopefully come out stronger. I have the meds for this. And I also have the armor. Since this ain't even my armor. This is the armor of your dead comrades. Zombies? Yeah, I don't know. Why don't these raiders ever decide to kill these zombies? They just kind of let them do their own thing. Like, I, I feel like I'd be pretty worried with zombies just chilling the next pen over or something. Uh, ooh, what is this? What is this? That is Savage Giant. Can we get a sneak attack on him? They might be glitched right now where you can't even get sneak attacks off on him. <gasps> no, they're not. Oh, my God. 138. The scythe, if you can get that critical hit off, is a murderer. Oh, my God. Speaking of murderer, that's what he's about to do to me. Let me soften you up really quickly and then slice and dice time. Yo, face. Oh, my God. And your leg. How do I slice off both a face and a leg in one fell swoop? That's the power of the Papa Star. What can I say? Oh, the power of hydration is not doing us well, however. So let's continue getting rid of that jazz. I might even ditch that zip gun at some point just because, like, it's a zip gun, man. Come on. Uh, let's keep on using some of the machetes because there's no savage giants left for us to clear out and I like the fact we're taking out these yokels pretty much one by one and their friends aren't like coming to their rescue suspiciously enough but uh, we, we still got to kill them at some point because if not the farm event at the end the uh ooh it's a bit of aluminium uh what you might call the thing at the end where we have to saw the chest open that that does draw a lot of heat towards us and oh see that bull over there He's going, he's going, he's gone. I'm safe. I'm just trying to keep him outside of that like kind of one circle range. The yokel is down and the farm pens are cleared. The house is also clear. So all that we got to do now is go around and get to the last couple yokels protecting this. Maybe we got to kill the barn dudes as well. I'm crossing my fingers. We do. I would love to take them down and hopefully acquire some chopper related stuff from there. Even a steel plate. I've gotten steel plates before. I could get behind that. Long story short, I could get behind a lot of things that I hope that we can acquire today. So I'm gonna go get that box and bring it back. And with severe dehydration stalking us shortly in our wake, it is time to plop that puppy down, begin the process of the saw and hope for the best. Eat up a little bit more beads, get a little bit of hydration, cross our fingers that the barn door opens. I would love to get me some of that action. Oh, mama, oh, mama, oh, oh, hold up, 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 hold up. That's way more yokels than I bargained for. Oh, let's not get a bull added in on this action either. All right. Uh, well, good thing we're using that raider armor because we're about to be suffering a lot of hits. And after all, it is hits at the end of the day that do bring armor down. So let's back that up. Our pantalones are in grave danger, unfortunately, but that's all right. I suppose that will come out proper on the other side. Let's wait for those seven giants coming. Oh, no, my face. I mean, the, the hat. The thing that I hold on my face. And then we got those three savage giants to deal with at the end. These yokels will hopefully start dropping a little bit quicker like the flies that say ah. And okie dokie honky dory. I should be able to get a couple more hits in with this guy before I got to heal. I'm trying to save this med kit for the most part until absolutely necessary. Come on. Let's kill this guy super quick before the savage giants catch up. Okay, 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 okay. Ah, the jukes, the jukes, the jukes. And there we go. Apparently, there's some sort of a glitch with the, like, bridge or something where... Oh, yeah, you see, that guy over there was about to turn around. I think there's some kind of glitch with the bridge where you can, like, get people to run off the map. I wonder if that's what happened with, like, the one random dude who realized he should not have been fighting me and was running for his mum. Running like little baby. Uh, but no, let's get some of these things and it's time that we deal with the problems at the root And ain't no better way of dealing with things than with bullets JK usually conversing and doing things peacefully is pretty good But these zombies don't understand peace So unfortunately it is bullets that I hope that they can speak and if not luckily bullets got the magic of Google Translate They don't care what language you speak. All right, they will bring you to an agreement most of the time, though, that agreement comes in the form of death. It is not exactly the best agreement, but hey, we got another puppy, too. Okay, that brings our total up to two. Let's just bring our total dead savage giants up to three. And then it's time to get to collecting some puppies and collective loot as well. What you got here? Ooh, that's looking good. I already got that one, but oh, and we got a steel plate and we got a diary. Hold on. Can I use the diary? No, because I already maxed out raiding. God dang it. All right. Why don't we go ahead and equip our good armor now? We can get rid of the raider armor. You have served your popus raiders. Uh, I'm gonna leave just the one phone behind. That's not a huge deal for me. Let's definitely pick up the valuables out of this, though. This cleaver, that hunter handle's nice, and the sickle is cool, but at the same time, nothing super valuable or necessary for me at the moment. I guess I can pick up the nails for now, but we're probably gonna have to leave some stuff behind. 
And for, uh, whatchamacallit, hello, puppy. Not for the puppy, but for the stuff that the chopper over here across my fingers will hopefully be containing. Let's go. We got an engine part. We got gas. We got everything you would ever need besides world peace. We're still working on getting that in here. Uh, <laughs> let's go. We can probably put the nails away. One copper. I, 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 could, I could come back for that. I think one copper or something. Ah! dehydration i can come back for honestly i'm just eat all the beans in the world how about this i'm gonna plop that over there that'll free up a couple slots and uh, i can bring these things one gasoline it's a lot of running back and forth i'm probably gonna have to come back here at some point so for now i know i know the one gasoline will be left behind i can just come back and grab that off camera because at the end of the day i don't i don't want to spend a couple minutes just running back and forth getting the gas what i want to be getting y'all some fan freaking fantastic content on the asas because my last down earth uploads have been going up a little bit later than i would have liked in the past couple of days so that's just something i'm trying to rectify as quickly as possible so i want to get this one out to y'all on the asap especially to go and announce the winner of that past week's survival dollar two slash play store gift card giveaway and what better time and then while we're driving back at home so huge congrats to the randomly chosen video that was when i actually was warning y'all of the ravager and its special ability to destroy armor if it catches you in the wake of its spit and a huge Congrats to the randomly chosen comment. Minecrafter John saying Star Snipe always forgets to bring an iron hatchet. Not today, John! Not today, but you know what today is? Today is the day that you have won this past week's $25 iTunes slash Play Store a gift card a giveaway. So go ahead. What I'm gonna need you to do is there's gonna be a pinned comment in that comment section down below. Go ahead, reply to that pinned comment with the best way of me being able to get in contact with you, whether that be your email, maybe your Twitter handle, so I can go ahead and like DM you the code. Whatever it is, just go ahead and let me know in that pinned comment and reply to it. No worries, I know your account, I have your YouTube account, so I'm gonna know which one is the true one. So no worry about it being faked, no worry about anyone having it stolen from right underneath your nose it is safe with me so just go ahead and leave a reply to that pin comment i will go ahead and hop on to getting y'all contacted asap and get you the code that you owe and so rightfully deserve but in the meantime everyone else i apologize sincerely from the bottom of my heart that you could not be the winner of this past week's 25 dollar itunes slash play store gift card giveaway but baby it's weekly so go ahead and best of luck in the new one that has begun it's a day in minecraft to john thank you for I don't know. Maybe the fact that you didn't believe in my iron hatchet bringing to farm skills is what made me bring it today, you know? So shouts out to you. You're the reason, maybe, that I brought it. I, maybe. That I, I, is just an iron hatchet. But I, I'm getting used to it. I'm getting used to bringing iron hatchets to the farm. So cut me some slack. But uh, we got to go ahead. We got to organize this inventory a little bit. And we got to prepare ourselves for a different type of mode. We got to prepare for raining mode, baby. Oh, well, uh, this, this is not what I expected to see today. But uh, hello, Horde. How do you do? Hey, hey, none of, none of them wall hacks there, random little zombie. But, uh... Uh, oh, oh, the, apparently the horde was about to attack too, so uh, that was happening. But don't mind me, I was over here and getting the final touches upon our raid in inventory. Just putting a couple of these things away and whipping out a couple more. Specifically, I think Shotgun Rain is going to be making a triumphant return in today's raid as well. Over here, we got these necessary tools that we need to craft up the level 1 hatchets that we are going to be doing. And before we craft up the level 2 hatchets, we do need to actually haggle and bring the raiders in. Well, I should say we should have we get we still gotta haggle with the raiders that gave us the last raid, and then we gotta call the raiders back up and be like, hey yo, come come get me raid because maybe we can knock out some progress there. So uh, I'm gonna be doing that real quick. And don't mind me, just slight uh thirst emergency, but we're gonna get that rectified nice and smoothly with a full belly of agua. And I have the necessary bartering tools, aluminum plates, and they can't resist it. So hopefully strike ourselves a rather proper deal with these raiders and then hit them back up and be like hey yo give me deal again uh so we can go ahead and start with eight eight's looking good bring it down to four oh, they're saying not bad just for the sake of good luck and stuff i, I kind of like bringing them more you know i'll give them that okay they're saying seems true sounds good to me that is your share of the last raid that we went on last raid actually which ended up pretty well for us but that's besides the point the point is it is time for us to do a couple of things number one get y'all the bucket code for today and if this bucket code is out of date by the time that you are attempted to use it that code be a nine six four six to go ahead and check that comment section down below for an up-to-date version of the code that is usually brought to you by the fan freaking size of the community known as a type game without fail every comment section that i check does have one of y'all trying to help out the rest of us in our digital in our numerical time of need with acquiring these digits and if you are not seen in that comment section down below you can be the fan freaking fantastic person should you have the knowledge to help out the rest of us in this dire time and a 
Ain't I happy I decided to wait on craft the level two hatchets. Ain't I happy we still got a floppy disk to get some C4. And ain't I happy the blind one. I, I, I haven't said hello to my blind buddy in a while. So I guess this, this quest here is the perfect is the perfect convincing that I needed. And they're going to be visiting the blind one at some point for our next raid. when We don't have a revenge one. But in the meantime, let's get these level two hatches crafted on up into our inventory before they then are used to break into another person's base and hopefully bring their stuff into back into my inventory. You know, it's like we're coming full circle, baby. How many of these are going to be bringing, though? I'm pretty content bringing just the four of them, one of which we can go ahead and leave behind, most likely, in the chest of the raid. And we can also leave one of those things over there, probably leave the aluminum plates. Those are pretty valuable. And we also still got to mod that marvelous, marvelous little shotgun before we call it. But without further ado, our raiding inventory is looking good. We got plenty of C4 as well. We are going to be bringing in the... Uh, what should we call we're bringing in four i know some people say that's not a good idea because sometimes like technically speaking four would like make too much noise actually no because i think what happens is if you use a c4 and it breaks the wall and there's nothing on the other side of the wall i think i've seen them do 16 although usually like you use them on a wall that has a chest on the other side so i think the chest being broken also adds in noise so technically speaking 16 32 64 if there, I don't know, man, if there's that many layers between us and some stuff, it could very well be worth it. So honestly, better safe than sorry, especially in exchange for simply one inventory slot. That's something I could get behind. And God dang it. Okay, you know, I'm, I'm gonna move this, okay? Because I honestly have to walk around this every single time I want to do some walking. There we go. I've opened up an entirely new path. But uh, watch my calls. Go ahead and get this shotgun properly kitted out. This vitamin P properly out of our system too, probably. And mm -mm -mm, is that thing looking good with the proper attack? Attachments, the proper setup that brings us damage up to a very beautiful and round 80. I know 80 isn't as round as could be, but it's perfectly round when it comes to taking out enemies with uh, 80 health, which there happen to be a good amount of, and even some other enemies with 240 health, a multiple of 80. But without further ado, and we're also bringing in, like, we're probably gonna end up breaking these three first before we do try to whip out the shotgun. At least that's gonna be my game plan, and then we can use the shotgun as the cleanup crew for the later waves, especially because, like, the later waves are where it gets hardest, but at the same time, I, how, like, it, 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 they're always throwing the same types of zombies at us, you know? It'd be cool to see them kind of, like, revamp raids a little bit and maybe, like, do something to mix up the type of zombies that are thrown at us. Like, I mean, there are farm zombies in the mix now. Maybe could, like, mix those up. I don't know, man. I feel like raids are kind of due for revamp at some point. Hopefully one that also makes raids better. Shouts out. Updates before 1.8.6. And anyone else here? Raise your hand. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. Guten Tag, mein friend. This is looking like it could be interesting but at the same time this is looking like it could be a doozy this is uh not a small base we have come across this is a base that is rather large at least it's not max size i guess it has that going for it but let's just go ahead uh of course spread some vitamin p for some good luck vitamin p the most important vitamin you never knew you needed until you found out through a little lad known as uh, Bob, papa star you know is that is this guy <laughs> But that's where his doorway is. That's where his uh, a quote unquote a home is. But is that where I want to break into? That's where I hear like radios and stuff. But I don't know if that means that's going to be where the chests are. We do got some C4 to mess around with just a tad bit. And I'm seeing a lot of chests here. So I say we, uh, I mean, we have to start things out with the bang. The C4 does need to be brought in. And I'm seeing some chests on the other side. But here's the thing. I got plenty of hatchets. I'd rather break in through the door. Uh... You know what? Let's just break in where the chest is. YOLO. You know, it's it's a double whammy. We save a hatchet for later. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, well, actually, I think we chose a pretty good one to break in in that case. Okie dokie. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Ooh, these guys are actually uh, doing us a favor by taking themselves out on the spikes. Appreciate it, boys. I'm gonna just go. I'm not gonna wait for all of them to do that, though. Let's get to a little bit of cleaning up. But it looks like the interior of his base, and this is the good news. I was seeing some level two walls on the inside. So at the very least, it's not like it's gonna be multiple stone rooms on the interior. There's definitely stone over. Ooh, no, there isn't. So level one wall. We're interesting. I'm definitely gonna look into this. We got the hatchets for it, right? Especially because we're already pretty much at like 25 noise. We got plenty of level one hatchets, and these things barely make any noise. And hello! This is a very good thing I'm happy I broke into. Okay, okay. We're getting a little bit of a better clue about this lad's base layout. Uh, oh, 
It's looking like apparently we need C4 to get into that. There's some, uh, there's a chest there. Mmm. Mmm. I wonder if that could be anything interesting, especially if we need C4 to do it. I feel like, yeah, why don't we see what this chest has to offer, see if this room was anything worthwhile? No. But I will not mind bringing these home, worst comes to worst, because these are used in a lot of weapon part upgrades, and low-key, I have actually started growing low on these things. I, a little bit lower than I would have expected from all the weapon part usage. Um, where do we go next? We could break into this. There's a wall to be chopped, so I say let's esket to chopping. If this freaking ah! If that freaking crop thing wasn't in the way, there's something we can chop, right? Like, uh, I, don't, I don't even know, dude. It's showing up there for like a split second, you know? I don't, we gotta approach this from the right angle. Okay, now it's, now it's just the crop thing. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep giving this a go. All right, you know what? I'm just not gonna, I'm, ah, dude, I, I, it was right there though. It's so tempting. Oh, well, I, I could use the C4, like, yeah, dude, Kafir's got to do something about these things during a raid because I'm not going to lie. If you play your cards right, you can definitely use it as a form of protection for, uh, well, I mean, probably not AI raiders, but whenever real people do raid your base, then yeah. But I mean, when real people raid your base, they don't actually break anything from your base. I think they might just summon an AI raider that then does the damage. Uh, but we probably want to go inwards. So YOLO, let, let's break through this one. And especially because if we break through this one, uh, I believe that'll allow us to use this chest glitch. Ooh la la. Ooh, this, um, we got to break through this chest for sure. But it's because I don't think zombies can technically get through that little gap right there that a small chest and a wall makes. So this might be a perfect storm, perfect type of recipe for us to be getting a solid amount of loot and ain't Jack squatting there. Uh, we could keep going that way. We could keep going that way. Or do we go this way? Because I... Here's the thing, man. You need dynamite to get into there. And you don't really need... I mean, technically speaking, he's, he's got some stone walls, but not some in other places. It's definitely a little bit confuzzling. He's got a door behind whatever that thing is. Uh, is that a generator by chance? Okay, he was in the middle of the building. A little short on the engine parts. We could try and break through this, although it does say it needs that, and, uh, uh, meh, meh. no, that's gonna start us chopping that. See, that's what I'm saying. I want to, like, chop into those workbenches, and we'd have to break a workbench first, which is gonna make a lot of noise, so, honestly, especially, here's the thing to keep in account, too. He's got a lot of spikes protecting that side of the base. You know, I, mean, I feel like you'd put the better protections, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe buy the better stuff. So I think it's time for C4 number two to come out of resting and come into play. Base and all of your walls. I apologize sincerely for the destruction I'm about to cause, but uh, alas, destruction needeth be caused. Boom! God dang, we ain't, we ain't get Jack Squad out of that. Okay, okay, okay. That's not, it's not what I was looking, looking forward to. Uh, that, that room just looks pointless. I didn't, hmm, hmm. Do we keep going? Do we keep exploring? We could break into this. That just takes wood. Maybe if we use the level one hatchet during the chops, because that's another way you can tell what type of thing you're breaking into. Also, ooh, ooh perfect. That thing just broke. That means more inventory room for me. Ow, ow, dying of, okay, at least it's hunger. I got the beans to solve this. Uh, check it out though. When it comes to breaking this down, I can just very quickly check. Is this a level one? It is. It is a level one wall. I can get behind breaking some of that. What you got behind you? Uh, his his dead body. Okay. Okay. These rooms are just really weird. Maybe these rooms were just for like future expansion or something or mm. Mm. There's always the chance that this could be the room that have it the goods, but I Don't know and that would be another c4 because by the looks of it There is not as you guys are seeing from the lower right hand corner any way of getting into that Without that but at the same mm. Mm, I ah I don't know, man. It's not worth the risk of a third C4. It'd make a lot more noise. Honestly, risk reward, taking all that into account. We already got a couple rooms here that we could still do some breaking into. We still got some wooden walls we could break into. Let's break a couple of these chests. Hope that maybe, okay, we get some good stuff. That is not the good stuff I was hoping for. But at the same time, remember, remember the 4th of December. Why? Because that rhymes. There's actually no reason to remember that date, but... Uh, do remember that hopefully that chest will be a little bit glitchy for us and protect us from the big one and all the zombies running our way because uh, as you guys are seeing no zombies are running our way even though they definitely should be coincidence 
I think not. Ooh, this room's looking like it could be juicy. We gotta break into that chest to move on so we can do that, but yeah, we could very well have a perfect storm of a raid here because check it out. Now they come a running. Now they come a sprinting. And now they come a dying. And I gotta go ahead and make some freaking loot come into my inventory because currently there ain't jack squat in terms of loot over there. But I, I like the magic we're able to pull here. Hello, hello, uh, toxic abominations. Hello, it is me. Papa Star, come here. Ah, there they are, right on time. Just kidding, you're late. How dare you be late to my murder of you. Oh, have a little bit of common courtesy, sheesh. Can we uh, start shooting these dudes? There we go. But yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. This is the perfect chest for what I was describing. They're not gonna be able to make it through. The big one also will not be able to make it through. Shotgun raid to you. And that means we should be able to make a lot of time to deal with things here. Uh, hopefully we find a gun in one of these chests. Did this thing have anything by the way? No, 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 that, that was the one with the disappointing water and food. This one might be a metal room, low key, low key. Ah, uh, potentially, potentially. We should be able to break through one more room. Which one of these rooms would be good if it were to be good? Ah, uh, I don't know, man. I got high hopes for this room, definitely. Um, Okay, here's what I think we're gonna do. We're gonna start softening up all of these chests because if we break into one more wall, the big one's gonna come in. It's gonna be a little bit more stressful. We gotta hope that one of these chests contains what we want it to contain. So we are still using level one hatchets. So it takes four to fully, into break, to fully break into something. So we're just gonna soften all of these up by doing three, at least until we go to the level two hatchets. That's when things might get a little bit weird because I'm not sure what happens if we do like two chops with this and one chop with an iron hatchet. Might get a little bit freaky deaky. Like this might get a little bit weird. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll save that. That's where I'll start. That's the first one that I'll break. Let's make a mental note. That is the first one being broken. And now we just got to do two chops on the rest of these chests to soften them up properly. Uh, we probably want to start... Mm, maybe start breaking into these. Ooh, 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 ooh. That might not be a shabby idea. Now that I think about it, I really hope we find like another hatchet or something too because uh, looking into it, well, I don't really know if we have enough hatchet to really break through the rest of these, which is where I am getting a little bit worried. Um... Hmm. And all right, boys and girls, while definitely not ideal, uh, we were able to unearth some limestone and wood from our inbox. So worst comes to worst, because I don't think this is gonna last for all these chests. We can just craft more up. Obviously not ideal, because we're probably gonna end up ditching this stuff if the loot's any good, but that's a big assumption given how this raid's gone so far. But this is it. We are going for broke. As soon as we break into one of these, the big one is in play. He can be spawning in. He might be teleporting to us. If he teleports to us, we gotta go outside and kill the toxic abominations very quickly. We don't have an unsilenced weapon, so they're just gonna be dying via shotgun rain. I'm cool with that. Let's make sure that we heal up to full health. Let's make sure that we go up to full hunger at least. And I mean, can we toss that in the backup slot and it'll at least be chilling there? Marvelous! And so the games, let them begin! Please have some good stuff within you. Oh, okay, okay. Getting a little bit better. I got some turret parts and stuff. Uh, it's, a, it's a groovy. I can get... Oh! Oh! We got the steel. We got the steel. See a big one! Wouldn't want to be a combat to be abomination, broskies. Come on, come on! Unless the big one wants to come on at me now. Come on. Okay, are the abominations coming? He's going to teleport any second now. Whoop, 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 whoop. See ya! Wouldn't want to be a, okay, uh, this already looking like a positive revenge raid if we're getting steel out of it and stuff. Let's continue. Okay, that took an extra chop. Oi, oi, lad. Okay, okay, we got to deal with him. Let's go ahead and shock and raid these toxic abominations. We got one on our tail. Uh, why don't we go? I don't want to stray too far away from the chest. Ooh, that beautiful critical hit because... Ah, that's exactly what's going to be happening. Let's continue running away. And, ooh, okay, there's one of our guns, I believe, that was randomly put in the chest like I was talking about. Still missing those AKs, uh, which is not, not, not a good thing. As soon as he teleports to us here, check it out. This is where we start being twice as productive. We kill him, and now on this side, we can start collecting some things. Look at what I, okay, next time he teleports to us, we got to get some crafted up because things are going fugly. Okay, good, 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 good. Let's get a uh, hatchet crafted up on the lickety spot. Blitz, and he's gonna teleport to us. Then we gotta go back to the other side, and then we gotta start breaking some more stuff and hoping that it's got some of my stuff within it. Do you have my stuff within you? Eh? Uh, no. The answer is no so far. Uh, this chest can be broken into. He's probably gonna teleport to us. Oi, oi, oi! No teleportation that time. Uh, can I at least collect that? Yep. It's like some paints and stuff. Not, not super interested. That chest has to stay. Um. Okay. 
Still haven't found anything good in terms of these low key. Oh man, I, we can't break through any more stuff. There is a stone wall there, which you might be able to break into. Ah, uh, dude, I wish we had more level two hatchets. We should have brought more, god dang it. Ah! Let's run away from this guy very quickly. And honestly, uh, I, I'm seeing chests in there too. Is, is there like a level one wall I could break into? No, we need an iron hatchet for like all of these. Okay, he's about to come back to us. Uh, do any of these take like a level one hatchet? Come on, man. Yeah, I, yeah, you under, you underdid some of your other walls. Can you underdo some of these walls by chance? I, I don't think it's happening at the moment. Please leave a message after the beep. Um, okay, still panicking because I'm missing way more Kalashnikovs than I would like to be missing. Um, um, did I ever loot you? Mm, eh, doesn't matter because ah, ain't nothing inside of you. I just don't know what to do, man. I don't know what to do. I could use another C4, but is that worth it? Uh, to recover some of my Kalashnikovs and stuff, it is, but knowing that I could be using an iron hatchet. Oh, I don't know if that's worth it, but I can't exactly craft up more iron hatchets. I don't have any lying around. Oi, oi, oi. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go out of bounds for a sec and uh, tank about this because we got some inventory room there. All right, guys. After thinking long and hard about this, A, I'm, I'm tossing rid of these. We're over here at the overworld map, by the way. Um... See, the only thing we're really missing, though, because we, we've definitely gotten some quality stuff back. I don't even think they stole steel from us, so we actually went positive on the steel. Um, all that we're missing is a couple AKs. The thing is, I'm pretty sure that they were actually kind of poopy AKs, and this is where I gotta ask myself, because we can't craft a hatchet. We can't craft an iron hatchet. Somehow, I came with less iron hatchets than I thought, which usually doesn't happen, but apparently we're gonna start bringing more than two rows of hatchets, definitely, for situations like this, most random situations, I guess. I guess it's a situation where like the blind, not the blind one, the big one gets in that like glitch where we can kind of like, you know, the small chest glitch or like some sort of glitch where, you know, he's kind of stuck. He doesn't move around. Ow, ow, am I, am I gonna? Bruh. Are, are you, are you serious right now? <coughs> Game? Hello? Uh, hello, I was just go, what? Okay. that. That, that's, that's cool. That's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Definitely cool. Oh! Well, that's even cooler, game! Are you kidding me right now, last day on Earth? Really? Really? You're, you're, you're gonna do me like that. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> sorry guys, but apparently we're not getting any of that stuff now because the game decided to kill me before I even had a chance to move. I don't know why that's... Oh, why is that even a possible thing? Why is the big one allowed to start hitting me before I can even see what's going on, dude? Like, I... Well, um... I... We literally can't get that loot back. That loot is lost to the abyss. We can't go back there. That is just, uh... It's great. It's great. So, uh, I don't know what to say except I am displeased. I, I, I'm gonna leave it at that while I go and try. Dude, we lost a military backpack. Like steel? You kidding me, man? Ah, uh, you know why I went in, by the way, too? The reason I wanted to go in is because, A, our inventory wasn't full of loot, and B, because we did have two slots over here from the C4, but uh, that, that's savage that, A, the game didn't let me go back to get my stuff. Maybe, I mean, it's let me go back before, which is why I'm confused. I wonder, you know what it might be that maybe causes it to happen? Maybe because I went to the overworld once, right? So I went to this map after the big one was summoned, right? And then maybe because I went back in and then I died, the game like didn't give it to me. Maybe if I never went to this map, that wouldn't have happened. I don't, I I, I genuinely don't know. That's that's unfortunate. And uh, Kafir, I hope that you guys can fix that because that is in no way, shape or form in any universe or parallel a dimension like i don't even know dude like that's not fair at all to die before you spawn in so i hope that gets fixed at some point because uh that's definitely a problem <laughs> that's a big problem but uh i i i don't know what to say because we can't get the loot back so uh goodbye loot i guess so uh and that's gonna start wrapping it up for me for now i hope your guys' raids go a lot better than mine did today <laughs> It was going all fine and dandy too until that whole, whole last part where uh, the big one killed us before we spawned in. Didn't appreciate that, but 
Hopefully we get a good raid to make up for it at some point. But and that's going to start wrapping up for me for now. Best of luck to you guys and girls in the giveaway. Can't wait to hear what y'all got to say about the horse and all them shenanigans as well. Best of luck to you guys and girls. Get in the chopper cast tank and join it. The chopper squadron. Best of luck bringing your pups and getting the true friend perk. Best of luck leveling up your own personal skills through various methods and whatnot and getting the best ones imaginable over there. Best of luck building the best weapon attachments for your guns imaginable. Not to mention getting the best blueprints that you possibly can. Best of luck protecting your base and hopefully going on doper raids that I went on today because, uh, I mean, they, it, it was dope until the whole ending part. Sucks that I had to use 2C4 for literally nothing. Yay. But uh, best of luck to you guys with that. Best of luck to feed all the bosses the game has to throw at us. Best of luck getting past the multiplayer wall. And most important of all, having yourselves an absolutely fan for contesting time all throughout. But that's going to do it for me. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Have yourselves an awesome one. I'll talk to you next one. See ya.